what is up boys welcome back to a video which is the first time i've done this type of video uh, what it's going to be is a player review and what's player review what is player review who this player review shall i say is going to be on is in fact let's go and, i'm just going to show you it's going to be the foot champions award emery moore if you have a look at his card, his card looks, for a bronze card, that is mental. If you're wondering why I'm a bit quiet, it's because, once again, I'm recording this quite late. People are asleep, so I've got to be quite quiet. But yeah, basically, I got I got this card because last month, I only attempted to play foot champions on my account once. And I played like 10 games, so I ended up finishing like silver free. So my uh, rewards for the end of the month were awful. But they weren't, because if you check my last video, you'll see who I got in packs. And I've got some decent players in the packs. So yeah, let's have a little look at his stats. He's got 88 pace, 84 dribbling. They're the big ones. They are massive. 67 shooting, which isn't, isn't great. But for a bronze, it's not too bad. 55 physical. He's weak foot of 3 star. Skill moves 4 star. He's born in 1997. That is mental. He's one year younger than me. He's playing at this level. Madness. Only five foot seven though, he's very, very small. But as you can see, he's the first owner. We haven't played any games with him yet. I'll show you the team that's around him. So we've got Kingsley Coleman, we've got Dembele, Kante, him, I'm not going to try and say his name, Talisa, Shaw, Smallin, Ogbonna, Walker, and Butland. So um, I'm just going to basically jump straight into highlights now. I'll show you some, maybe some goals or maybe some, I don't know, good passes that he makes, but you'll see in this next clip. Tired of hearing excuses you make it Future is said it is mine for the taking So, if we have a look at the final stats after playing five games with Emery Moore, we have scored a massive 10 goals in five games. So, we're averaging two goals a game, which isn't bad at all. Bear in mind, I used this Emery Moore card, which is a bronze card, in a goal team. So, all the teams I was coming up against were goal teams. And he got three assists. He's playing as the only striker, getting three assists still isn't bad, in all fairness. But bear in mind, in these five games... One of these games only got to about 60 minutes. My opponent did, in fact, rage quit. So now, if we look at the advantages and disadvantages, in my opinion, of this card, we'll start with advantages. 
So quite clearly, the dribbling and pace were always going to be a massive advantage here. Pace being 88, dribbling being 84. But on, on the break, his pace comes so handy. Honestly, it's just it's quality. And dribbling, like the ball, it's like it's glued to his foot, guys. Honestly, I'm not pissing about it. He is insanely good at dribbling. Bear in mind, he was going up against gold defenders. Like the guy was just top notch. And the next one which surprised me a lot was shooting and passing. On his card, his shooting is only 67. But like, he was scoring bangers from like, outside the box and everything. Like I was expecting just to score tappings, but this guy, he's got literally the whole package. He's a solid player. And the next one, passing. His passing is 50. 50 guys. That is awful. But like, he was picking out so many good passes. Not once I don't remember him misplacing a pass at all in the first five games that I played with him. I'm definitely going to keep the card and play more of him because I really enjoy playing with him. But then we move on to the disadvantages. The big one being his physical. 55 physical, and it does really show. It's it's awful. It's absolutely shocking. If there's a defender, midfielder, anyone on the opposing team, come within arm distance of him, that's it. He'll flop to the floor or lose the ball. It's just, it gets so frustrating when you're constantly trying to make a run through and someone gets close to him, pulls him down. It's not a foul, it's just because he's too weak, which is expected to be fair. The guy's only five foot seven. But finally, the final disadvantage I have is his positioning. So often I was on the attack and he just he wasn't there. He was like in the mid literally in the middle of the pitch, just making his way up casually. Which I guess I could probably change in the tactic somewhere to make him just stay up there, I guess. But they're the only two disadvantages I could think of with this card. So overall I'd give it a rating out of ten off seven. And I would definitely recommend using this card, guys. It is literally quality. So that is my first ever review. Hope you enjoyed. I um, it's it's all a bit different. Quite enjoyed making it to be fair. Might look at doing more with comfy freighting maybe. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and have a good day. Bye.